So I came home today and uh, my uh, Titan Fitness lap machine showed up while I was at work. It's sitting at the top of my steps. I don't know why they put it up there. I wonder if they just left it on the ground. It's up there. So the box looks probably the best box I've ever. Uh, Received from Titan Fitness as far as the condition of the box. So these were on back order, so chances are this just arrived at the warehouse. This came in and therefore was not beat around the uh, warehouse half the year. Because it looks really the boxes that you hear about. Not just from Titan, but anywhere where they travel all the way from China or someplace. This looks like it. It looks like they have to pull that out of there with a screwdriver, which is good. Usually you get these things, and these end caps are already falling apart. And this one is not. It's taped up good. This thing is all in one piece. have to come back to that one because that's they actually put a set screw in that so evidently they've had issues with those before coming off people always complain about them and I'm sure they're just trying to do a little better customer service so I'm gonna go ahead and keep taking this apart to the pulleys Steel slide rods. Anyway, the tubing idea is good. Hopefully, they use that on the, uh, the Olympic bars they sell because they have gotten Olympic bars. Okay, so once you get everything out of the box, this is what you're working with. This is your your jigsaw puzzle because it does not come with an instruction card, which I already knew. Uh, there is a manual online, which I'm going to pull up on the computer before I start putting it together, but should be pretty basic. You've got, uh, there's the base for your slide rods. These are your cross beams. Uh, your top pulley system that you're going to bolt to the top of one of these cross beams once it's up there. That's your weight ram that you have on there to put your weights on. So here's the uh, online manual that I pulled up from Titan, Titan Fitness' site. And then you can blow these up too. The way I unpackaged the bolts was to keep the cards with them. Although when you peel those cards away from the bolts, it does tear up the paper roll. So some of that might be hard to read, but I'll figure it out. And then I keep all the parts that were with each card close to the card. So so as not to get confused. So I'm going to start with these slide rams, this top um, cap for it that has the pulleys on it, and then that base part. All of this goes together to make, make that slide ram. And I pulled my rack away from the wall, and I already positioned the, uh, the base against the floor there so I could see how much room I have. I want to make sure I don't have the base so tight up against the wall that I can't put any plates on the so if we go back to the manual, I'm just going to lay those rods on the floor with the top cap and the base, put all the pieces in position, and then grab those bolts off of those cards. So when you start putting this together, the I put the base on the rods already. I haven't bolted them on, but uh, I just slid it on there for now. But these two slide rods right here. So when you look at these, there's a foam pad on the bottom of them. And that coincides with the base, the dark part. So I'll slide those down the rod with the foam ends towards the base. So I put those spacer slide rods on with the uh, foam end towards the base. 
and now you have number 24 is a couple of uh, little shock absorber rubber pads that go onto the rod on top of those so I'll put those on and those look like where's my hand in there that so those will go on next so that's where we're at now we put the, uh, the base down we put the two rods in the base Put the spacers on with the foam pad in towards the uh, base and then we added our two rubber little uh, shock absorbers that are going to take the brunt of the weights coming down over top of those spacers. Uh, this now we're going to add number five which is your weight holder and that should be easy because you've got a cable attachment on the top side of that. It's going to go up. So now progressing along, we have our weight holder on there. Uh, you can easily see which side goes up on that. We've got the cable eyelet on there and plus the uh, weight holder rods. So this is what it's going to look like as soon as I get these bolts on here. But you have your Upper pulleys and cable holder. That's where your bar is going to hang, and then the base of your unit. And the bolts we're going to use to attach this are the 33s. You've got two 33s on the base, and two 33s on the. So there's the base with those uh, two hex bolts in there. two uh, bolts with washers on the top. And now I'm going to move to that upper cross member. And again, I have the same four bolt sets with the uh, large washers um, and then a washer and a lock washer and a nut. And those will pin that upper cross member, the one with the uh, Titan nameplate on it, onto the rack. So I've mounted those four corners of the cross beams and this is your lat pull down overhead mounted in place so there are the nuts and bolts holding that onto the top and then the same thing on the bottom cross member across the bottom Drop it in and we'll move on. So this is the step we just completed. So the next step that I did was I mounted the pulley at the base of the, uh, the weight stack slide rod. Um, and I believe the pulley was number 17. We use a washer on each side of the pulley and a lock nut and a bolt. So after this pulley at the bottom was attached, I ran the cable up, pulled the ball in through the pulley, and we run it up and run it over the top of the double pulley, and then the double, pull, double pulley goes back down, and that anchors onto the base. So that was one of the pulleys and that was not a problem. That's the lower part of that pulley. It just loops around the lower portion of the pulley onto the row, anchors to the plate on the other side. Now the upper part was a little trickier. So the upper, upper pulley, string it through this, the front pulley with the ball end out. And that actually slipped through okay. But when you came over the top to the back pulleys, you actually have to dismount the pulley, thread your cable through, and then pull, put the pulley back in place. And then once that cable comes down from that pulley, it's going to loop the top part of this double pulley. And then it's going to go up to the top of the back pulley, loop over it. And I had to pull that pulley also to get the cable to loop over. 
and then you got to pull the cable down and it also anchors it anchors onto the weight holder plate so then once you have that you can mount your your lap bar on using the hardware and once we pull that just to give you an idea it's pretty smooth and I could hit that with some silicone spray or dry silicone or something and probably make that a lot quieter even but it's not very loud right now and then the bottom pulley same thing has these chains with it some of these chains are kind of sketchy in the directions and there's two bolts on each of these foot pedals let me get over the back so you can see the backs of those so all in all considering I worked a full day today and I assembled this when I got home not really difficult um, and here's where it shows those bushings that I could see and to me it looks like they're supposed to fit into your square tube but they're larger than the holes in the square tube so they don't fit as an inner sleeve bushing they don't fit the hole and it says use with 26 holes so I did not figure that part out if uh, any of you know how that's supposed to so here it is all together flat attachment for my X3 short rack, so cables are all up. I swapped out the, uh, the handle that came with it for the little V tricep handle, and uh, just let you guys see it. It's pretty smooth. I mean, for being a pretty light little system, it goes on the back of your rack. You can definitely do your your triceps on it. I'll probably give it a little more test tomorrow. Um, as far as rows down here, I've got this extra chain. I don't know that I need that, but again, plenty smooth. I probably will not use that chain length. So a little, little bit more uh, resistance on my, my row on that. have it um, pretty good deal from Titan I think I gave the price was $2.99 and then I got a discount on it ended up being $268 I believe $265 I think I'm gonna like it and uh, I ended up with the fat pull-up bar that I'm gonna use across the back of my uh, my tall rack over there and I'll put the lever arms on it so after further review I did put the chain length in there and I believe that takes the place of that extra extra section of cable that was shown in that picture so I put that short piece of chain on there and oops and now the weights set on those uh, absorber rubber uh, shock absorbers underneath the uh, weight holder so it seems to be working well